So, as a developer, how do you know, or do you care, uh, what you're working on is the right thing to be working on? This is the highest value thing that I could oh. be doing. Yeah, I very much care. So, uh, th this is going to get, you know, maybe a little bit into Gary's opinion and Great. I don't know where this is going, but... <laughs> <laughs> well, you're the only one who would. It's just, yeah, right. Um, yeah. Agile, to me, is the thing that has been the most effective in my career to let me get good work done um, and, and get get to the business of, you know, writing good code to produce a good product for my customer. How? Um, there's, a, there's, a, there's a number of things. One, if you, if you just go all the way back to what Scrum's trying to do, it's just taking stuff out of lean principles so because the main thing that you're doing is delivering software, right? So if I can spend more time designing and developing software for, you know, for my for my customer to have, mm -hmm. that that's better than sitting in a bunch of meetings and getting approvals or doing, you know. Whatever. Wouldn't it be easier then if you just sat in your little developer hole or whatever you yeah. sit in? And someone brings a list of requirements to you yeah. and says, "This is what you need to develop." It next. would it would be more fun as when I when I get into my introverted world to just yeah you hand me directions and I just sit and code all day. That would be great. The reality is that if I don't have that interaction with the with the product owner, which which agile which agile is a big advocate of, and and get that feedback, mm -hmm. I'm often building the wrong things. So what's really frustrating me from a lean perspective as a developer is. I went in my hole and did all this work, and then we threw it away because I built the wrong thing. It's like, well, hell, I, the, the, you know, that's that that sucks. I don't, I don't like I don't like spending all that time doing. I mean, as much as I like to code, I don't like it being turned around and thrown away because I built the wrong thing. So that that's the other big part that Agile brings to the table is you get more of that feedback and you amp up as much as you can. Having demos, getting getting that software in front of somebody, and letting them say, "Yep, this is good. I like this." Well, you know what? I know I, I said that you delivered on it, but now that I now that I'm playing around with it, could we do this instead? And you're and you're building the best thing you can that's going to actually be used and valuable to somebody. That's that's where. So when somebody says, "Okay, we're going to scale this thing," because we're in a large organization, you've been doing this off in a pocket for a while. We're gonna, you know, we're gonna make this a, a whole company thing. What do you think they're looking for? Why, like, what is your assumption? I, my assumption is I saw this article and Scrum's going to get me, I can do twice as much stuff in half the time, and now I want 400 people to do it instead of this 10-person team go. Okay. So you think, it's a, you, you think they're looking for productivity? I do. What changes in your world when that happens? What do you mean? Like, does it get, does, I mean, this, the world that you just described where it's like, I get to get direct feedback from a customer and I, and, um, and I operate based on, on fast feedback cycles and it's about the delivery of software. What changes? Oh, what? Yeah. In the, in the pursuit of scale. In the pursuit of scale, if we're trying to scale this to 400 people, yeah. what, when, when we change that? So think, I don't, I'm, I'm in a really successful team. We're in our group. Yeah. It's going great. Now there's these other five teams that I have to, you know, it's like taking your little brother on your date because you, you've got to drag them along too. How does that change your world? See, I, that's where I, I, maybe with you, I haven't, I haven't seen that, that done well because large organizations that need to scale like that usually have these huge pipelines where you've got teams dependent on each other's output and it's just... Mm. That gets yeah. to be a different problem. That's where the communication <clears throat> problem comes in. And there are still things you can do to help be more efficient, but I think it's trying to be more efficient and effective when you admit that that's the world that I live in. You can you can do things with API contracts and have teams, you know, like like Amazon did. It's like we're gonna develop everything is gonna be available through an API. When you when you do that, it changes the game a bit and gives you a little bit more ability to so to, 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 that's to work a, in your world. When you say that, that that I, I want to take your, I can't remember your quote exactly, but I'm going to say it in a way that, that makes it sound hypocritical. <laughs> <laughs> that that sc scaling agile has nothing to do, is not a technical thing. 